This video is a demonstration of the phone app for the 3DBD modular system. With this app, you can save your patches so you can unpatch your synth and repatch it whenever you want. And you can save any number of patches you wish. To get started, first off, let's launch the app. It's called Patches. And initially, we have these two buttons. So, what we want to do is First of all, connect to the synth. Uh, we can press that, but if uh, the synth is not connected to the same network as our phone, we're gonna get a message saying that we cannot reach the synth. What we need to do is connect an ethernet cable, connect the synth to the router, the same router the phone is connected to via this ethernet cable. And once this is done, if we press this connect to synth, the text changes from connect to synth to get patches from synth. Now, if I press this, I'm going to get no patches saved on synth because I have nothing saved on synth yet. So let's create a patch, a very simple one, whatever, something, let's make some sound. So I have an oscillator. And then uh, I can do some phase modulation. Oh, we don't really care about the okay let's say that let's say that we, we like this sound and we want to save this what we need to do is press the button on the main module twice and the LED will blink twice now this patch has been saved with a default name which is 3dpd patch and an incrementing number. Since it's the first patch saved on the synth, this number will be one. So if I go back to the app and I press get patches from synth, I do get a different menu and I do get the 3dpd patch one button plus the back button, which helps me go back. Um, and if I go to the 3dpd patch one, then I get a, a number of, of, um, of choices. Uh, if I press connections, I have two lines. Now I get a trapezoid on in capital letters, which is the trapezoid module, and then I get a colon and then O1. O stands for outlet, and one is the first outlet. Outlets and inlets start counting from left to right and top to bottom. So the leftmost outlet is the first outlet of the synth, and then an arrow going to main. I stands for inlet 2 and sure enough if I go to the main module since inlets start counting from left to right I have inlet 1, inlet 2 and then I get another line saying various shapes which is this module and I get outlet 1 going to trapezoid inlet 2 and the first outlet of the various shapes goes to the second inlet it's one, two of the trapezoid module. So if I go back, then I can go to no positions and then I get a name, a list with a, mm, the names of the modules that are active in this patch. And if I press on any module, I get a graphical representation of the potentiometers of the module. Uh, if I go to trapezoid, for example, if you check the pot positions and compare it to the representation of the app, you'll see that they are pretty much the same. And then if I go to various shapes, and again, you can check and you will see that they're very, very similar. Um, I have a note here, which is empty because I don't have any way to write text from the synth. So if I want to keep some notes, I can do it here. And let's say, let's uh, write some notes for this demo. And if I press the back button, this has been written into the synthesizer. 
and then I can rename the patch from 3dpd patch 1 I can change the default name and let's say uh, demo patch 1 now in this uh, sorry patch 1 in this uh, keyboard you miss the space and the colon because well the space definitely shouldn't be used the colon is just not there if I press enter now the name of the patch will change and, and here on the top we will see it says from synth which means that we are checking a patch from the synth and not from the phone and then the name of the patch if I press enter it has changed from from synth to demo patch 1 instead of 3dpd patch 1 and sure enough on my initial list I got demo patch 1 so if I go back here actually if I go to the initial menu and I press get patches from phone I get no patch saved on phone so what I'm gonna do is open the demo patch and then I'm gonna say save to phone and if I go back then I have the patch saved on the phone and uh, everything is there um, it's the same patch it's just saved on the phone the thing is that you can be offline you can have the synth disconnected and um, actually I'm going to relaunch the app so now if I press connect to synth sorry I can't reach the synth but if I get get patches from phone I do get the patch I saved with the notes and everything um, so I can go to my gig just take out my phone and you know remake the patch as it was when I saved it uh, one cool thing uh, is that as I am making the patch let's say that I the patch the synth is not patched so I open the, the app I go to connections and I say trapezoid outlet 1 to main inlet 2 okay so I go ahead and I make this connection cool so since I have made this connection you can just press on this line and I get a line uh, erasing this connection means that I have done it so I can move forward and I go to virus shapes 1 trapezoid 2 and I can erase that one too so I know I'm done okay this is just two connections but in case you have a bunch of connections this can prove pretty helpful and then I can go to no positions and I can just you know tune my pots of course this is an approximation because you do it by hand but it's very helpful once you do it you can just uh, fine-tune it once you have patched everything together of course you can change the note you can rename the patch and you know if you change something you can save the patch to the synth but now we're not connected to the synth so let's actually connect to the synth back and then okay we'll, we're connected to the synth now and let's say that we add some notes Oops, sorry. Adding some more text. So when I press back, this will be saved. So I can save it. And uh, this patch has now been saved to the phone, to, to the synthesizer. So if I delete it from the phone, uh, it will still be in the synthesizer. One last thing is that you have uh, the interface to delete your patches. So if you go to the bottom option, delete patch from phone or synth, it depends on which patch you're checking. You can delete your patch. You get a warning. You can either press cancel or OK. If you press OK, then the list becomes empty and then the normal patch is saved on the phone. And that's more or less it.